what's up you guys after show reacts here and today i'm going to be reacting to some more supergirl this is season one episode um 11 and it's titled strange visitor from another planet um so let's get into it we all make mistakes have regrets from our past things we wish we could go back and change in my case my biggest regret is not being there for you i know that my choices may have hurt you in ways I can never understand. Life is short, and when all is said and done, there is nothing more important than family. All my love, Mom. Did she? So where'd you put him? By a very nice lake with no fire. But I'm sorry that you have to work for Cat Grant. I hear she's a uh, piece of work. A reputation she proudly fosters. Is she really as horrible as everyone says? They you know, dated, probably. Eats babies. Miss Grant is tough, but she's amazing, not only at her job, but as a person. She's pretty Do you nice. Did she pay you to say all that? No. I would not call that flirting. He was, he was friendly. Oh, you're hopeless. Maybe he had a giant crush on her. Rally. I can't remember. Well, we need someone to get to the rally. Kira, get me a list of who's available. Actually, I'll do it. You have layouts to do. Kira. Uh, Miss Grant, nothing that can't spare an hour. And with all due respect, I am the most experienced photojournalist you have. Who is in my office? I'll call security. No. It's the guy from before, Don't. isn't it? Adam? Hi. I got your letter. My letter? Huh. Of course. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't have done that. You wrote to my son. That's now get out. You're fired. I was just trying to help you. Yeah, it was you know overstepping. My mom died. I don't get to have a second chance with her. Yeah, but it wasn't your. I don't want that to happen to you and Adam. I, I you get it. The line, no. yeah, Kira. Yeah. I don't think you were ever going to send that letter, and another year of you missing him would have gone by like that. Sorry. I get it, Sometimes but you crossed the line. it's easier to face the past with a little help. So, uh, should I make a dinner reservation, or am I fired? Uh, um... Make a reservation. And Kira, I am going to make your life hell. It's worth it. Whether they are wearing a red cape or not, they are a threat to this country our freedom and our lives. Yes. Starting today, we need solutions. Perimeter's clear. It's time to stop talking and start acting. Monsters are coming for your families. screwed up royally, and I will not be kept here. Madam Senator, I assure you it's for your protection. For all I know, you all staged that little stunt. It's just like an alien. Excuse me? Eh? You're all the same. Disgusting insects who come crawling from your own diseased backwater planets looking to suck our resources for yourselves. I always find it very, very interesting um, when, like, a... Oh, I really suck at this. Um, I always find it very interesting when um, a person of color, is that the correct term? I really hope that's right. Uh, it's like, it talks about like aliens and that kind of stuff being like disgusting and like, um, like talk, talk about them like almost in a racist type of way because like, they face that kind of stuff and so it's kind of like they're being really hypocritical 
Does that make sense? I just find that very interesting when characters are like that. Do you know what I mean? I really hope that I've said this in the right way. Yeah. <laughs> I should have let it eat her. It would have. It still might. You ready to tell us the whole story? We're looking for a white Martian. That thing is like is it you? Miss Martian? Like me. That creature and its kind slaughtered the green Martians. This creature belongs to a race devoted to the mission of killing me and mine. It'll be back. But but it attacked the senator. Make no mistake. I brought it to National City. I have to ask something of you. I should be the one to face this thing, but if I reveal myself, it'll mean the end of my life as a Hank Henshaw. And if Hank goes. General Lane gets the DEO, and you know what that means. You've had my back a million times. I've got this one. I'll bring it in. I have had one-on-one -on -one exclusive sit-downs with the most influential and powerful people in the world. Yes, but, but this yeah, isn't this is in front of you. This is your son. And sometimes you can be a little... I think what you say should come from the heart. If I had the chance to talk to my mother, I I'd want her to ask me if... If I'm happy, <laughs> how is Cornell going? Did you finish your master's yet? I dropped out. Wow. Well, you know, um, some of the nation's greatest minds never finish college. I, mean, I, I remember my I first never year went. sitting. I went and I got my first internship at the Daily Planet. Did you come to dinner just so you could talk about yourself? No, she was trying to talk about not. her experience she didn't write that to relate to you. I guess I came to hear you say you're sorry. I am sorry. I'm sorry. I wanted to be there. But you have to understand that I wouldn't have been a good mom. I wasn't ready. I get it. It's about you. You don't seem very open to dinner, cat. getting to know her at all. You just shut her down every time she spoke. Look at that. Did her eyes glow like that in every picture? No, just the ones after you saved her. They say Supergirl's not the only alien inside the DEO. You got them all, Henshaw. Madam, I trust you won't be insulted if I called you paranoid. God knows I won't be the first. So conduct a very quiet internal investigation. I'm sure finding an alien is within your abilities. Let them all run wild in here, just like you let a white Martian run wild on the street. But when you're brought down, she's literally inside, the mole. She's talking to me. Yeah. You were warned. So maybe it was always her. It's that? in your best interest to find this alien interloper as quickly as possible. Your entire operation has been compromised. I never said you were attacked by a white Martian. Well, you're smarter than I thought. Could have at least tried to lure her into a cell. Yeah. Martians were genderless. I will hear my family's screams until the day I die. 